in this module you will know that how color of women makes them different in society how discrimination is related with color here by color we mean black color it doesn't include white people actually it has a history behind it and that is colonial history when americans occupied settlements of black people in African countries, they brought African people, especially black women and children, to America. They engaged them as slaves to work in their farms for agriculture and other cores like that. So after a revolution in America, their rights were recognized. Even some black people ruled America. American history gave them recognition. But still, in modern day America, there is discrimination against black women and black people in general. So this is another factor that is related with color. And feminist language, by analyzing language and its use, they have also came, uh, they have also included color as a factor that promotes gender discrimination. In conclusion, we can see that there are more than one issues involved in uh, gender discrimination. One is class, the other is race and the other is nation. So all these things together, they create gender discrimination. For example, language use in public health messages, sex education, ideology of transgender, these things, they contribute to uh, and the definition of gender, how people, how a particular society thinks about gender, this is exposed through their use of language in ads and uh, in public health messages, in sex education, in schools, in colleges, etc. So far, we have discussed the interest of feminist linguists in uh, defining relationship between language and gender. Their interest focuses on relationship of gender and race, relationship of gender with class, relationship of gender with nation and color, and relationship of gender with unacceptable, socially unacceptable sexual relationships. And these language, I mean feminist language, whose interest overlaps with the interest of feminism, they explore the relationship of these factors with gender through the use of language. And in which areas they explore it? They explore it when people use language in public messages, in sex education, or in uh, talking about uh, ideology of transgender, etc., when they think that gender is defined by the individual, not by the society, an individual can opt for any sex.